Hi, I thought you might need a little extra practice on doing Vesper. Um, so there are going to be two videos for uh, practice. This first one is going to be looking at two to four electron domains. So uh, we're going to look at the compound, draw the electron structure, um, excuse me, the Lewis dot structure, and then we'll add all of our Vesper information to it. We'll start with a carbon dioxide. So carbon's a central atom, double bonded to each of the oxygens. Remember when we're counting the electron domains, um, it's always the electron domains around the central atom. Um, as a reminder, electron domains are going to be anything that is a lone pair, a single bond, double bond, or triple bond. Any one of those counts as one electron domain. So I've got my carbon. Let's go ahead and count electron domains. One, two, two electron domains. <clears throat> Notice they're both bonded, there are no lone pairs, um, and so this is going to be linear. And it's linear for both the electron geometry and the molecular geometry. So I'm going to use a little shorthand here. It's going to be the electron and the molecular geometries. The angle, the maximum angle there, is 180 degrees. Now, hybridization. Uh, this is where we have our SP, and you can watch that video on hybridization. Um, I need the exponents to equal the number of electron domains. S can have a max, maximum exponent of one, P maximum of three, and then D is a two. So if I've got two electron domains, it's going to be SP. It's understood to be a one and a one. One plus one is two. So that would be our hybridization. Okay, let's come to a carbon tetrafluoride. Again, count electron domains. One, two, three, four. Okay, all the electron domains are bonded. There are no lone pairs. Remember in that situation, that's when the electron geometry and molecular geometry are the same. Um, the shape is defined by the electron geometry and molecular geometry is what we see. And in essence, we could see um, those atoms bonded, bonded to the, the carbon. Um, so for electron domains, this is going to be a tetrahedral. Tetra meaning four, that's how I remember that one. And that's going to be for both the electron and the molecular geometry. Now maximum angle, here's the danger. Uh, we draw that as a beautiful 90 degree angle, but you'll recall this goes three dimensional. It reminds me of a tripod. You have one, two, three legs and then central atom in the middle, one last bond up here, as if it's a stand where you'd put the camera. Um, so imagine the one, two, three legs, and then where the camera is, that's the tetrahedral. So the angle is actually 109.5 degrees, 109.5. Hybridization, um, so four electron domains, sp3, one plus three gives us four. Remember p, the maximum exponent on that is a three. Um, okay, let's come over here. We've got um, a CH2O. Uh, so we've got a carbon central atom, oxygen double bonded uh, to that carbon and then a hydrogen um, in two spots. So let's count electron domains. One, two, three. Remember that double bond counts as one electron domain, one area where electrons exist. Um, three electron domains, all bonded, no lone pairs. So again, electron geometry and molecular geometry will be the same. The shape that's derived and what you would see would be the same. And of course, it's all theoretical what we would see. We get evidence for what these look like. Can't actually see them. Um, okay, three electron domains. This is going to be trigonal, planar, and of course, that's for both the electron and the molecular geometries. Maximum distance between those, 120 degrees. And on that name, it looks like a triangle and it's on one plane, one plane. Um, hybridization, so three electron domains, it's going to be sp2, one plus two gives you three. And there's your hybridization. Okay, two more that I'd like to do with you. Um, let's do this um, H2SE. So selenium, it has two lone pairs and two bonds. So a total of one, two, three, four electron domains. Again, two bonded, two lone pairs. So four electron domains, that shape is going to be tetrahedral. So the electron geometry, tetrahedral. Four electron domains, it forces that tetrahedral shape. But what you would see if we could actually look at this, we can't see those lone pairs. All you see is this part right down there. And you'll recall kind of a sad anticlimactic name the molecular geometry 
is bent. <laughs> bent. All right, now the angle. So you know that on tetrahedral, when we've got four bonds, it's 109.5. Well, I now have two lone pairs that are closer to that central atom and they have a greater ability to repel and push those hydrogens away. So this is smaller. It is 104 degrees, 104 degrees. Um, let's see here. So let, oh, I'll just leave the 104. Um, now hybridization, it doesn't matter if it's a bond or a lone pair, you still just count total electron domains to get the hybridization for electron domains. And so this is hybridization is an sp3 sp3 um okay let's go to um our nitrogen trichloride right here and do you know what i forgot i want to put the 104.5 sorry 104.5 um okay sorry nitrogen trichloride uh let's count electron domains around that central atom nitrogen one it's a lone pair two, three, four. So we've got three bonds and one lone pair, four electron domains total. Four electron domains, the electron geometry on that, of course, is tetrahedral, four, tetrahedral. But then what we would see, you can't see that lone pair. Uh, all you see would be the bottom of the tripod, the one, two, three legs. So this name, kind of cool, the molecular geometry is trigonal, Pyramidal, trigonal, pyramidal, pyramidal. Um, now this angle, again, four electron domains, if they're all bonds, 109.5. Um, if we've got our uh, one lone pair that's repelling a little bit more, pushing these chlorines down, it's going to be a 107.5, 107.5 degrees. Hybridization based on all of the electron domains around that central atom is going to be sp3. One plus three gives you four. So there's some practice, some good practice on doing uh, valent shell electron pair repulsion, predicting shape, angle, and hybridization. Good work. Have a good day. Uh, check out the other video if you need it for five and six electron domains. Thanks. Bye.